Welcome to WebBikeWorld.com. This is a quick look at the new 2013-2014 Suzuki GW250, which is also known as the Inazuma in other parts of the world. Inazuma apparently means lightning in Japanese, which is an interesting name for this new bike. The GW250 is a new motorcycle for the USA from Suzuki, introduced at the 2013 AIM Expo in Orlando. I totally missed it there, and Suzuki never mentioned it to me, so the intro has been rather subtle. In fact, neither the State Motor Vehicle Division nor the insurance company had the GW250 in their database yet. It's quite a good-looking bike, though, with a really excellent finish. It's a 248cc, four-stroke, single-overhead cam, two-cylinder, and it's water-cooled, and it has a silky smooth fuel injection system. It revs like a scalded cat with a red line of 11,000 RPM. We bought one for a Web Bike World project bike, and it'll have to serve until the V-Strom 1000 ABS arrives. Now, you might think a 250 is a beginner bike, but this is a fairly sophisticated ride, so it will also work for commuting, and it's cheap enough to own as a second knockaround bike when you don't want to launch the S1000RR. We'll be adding accessories, luggage, including a top box and tank bags, lights, horns, and any other goodies we can think of. So be sure to check the webbikeworld.com Suzuki GW250 blog. Here's a few quick walk-arounds taken the day after the bike arrived. It's styled after the Suzuki B-King. It doesn't look like a 250 at all until you set it next to a full-size bike or, say, a BMW GS. And then the GW250 appears to be about three-quarter scale. It has nice front and rear disc brakes that work pretty smoothly. The oil filter is easy to access in the front between the exhaust pipes. The turn signals also have a sort of upscale look and they're integrated into the design. The GW250 comes in black only in the US and the paint job is outstanding on this one, very nicely applied with a smooth finish. The standard controls on the left include the smoothly operating clutch, turn signals, high beam, and the typical meep meep horn that will be the first thing we replace. On the throttle side is an adjustable front brake lever, the starter button, and kill switch. The handlebars are attached directly to the tops of the triple clamp, which is an interesting design. The bike also has an aircraft style locking fuel door. Here's the start sequence. This is a 30 degree day and the bike has been sitting in the garage for a couple of days without running. It starts right up every time. It has a few electronic functions, a very handy gear shift indicator which should be on every bike. It has two trip meters, a nice fuel gauge and a clock. Tires are IRC Road Winner tires and they handle surprisingly well. These tires have good reviews by owners. Besides the dual disc brakes, it has dual exhausts and a very nice modern look that in no way indicates cheap or beginner bike. So that's a quick walk around of the new Suzuki GW250 in Azuma. For more information, photos, our GW250 blog, and more, please visit webbikeworld.com. Thanks for watching.